guys it's Jamila welcome back to my channel today we're talking about all the books I read in June which shamefully to say was not even close to what I was supposed to read so I'm sorry like I apologize I wish I could change my behavior of procrastination um it's just part of who I am <laughs> no but um honestly I don't know what happened I had a couple of slumps in June and I thought I could read more than I could and I didn't realize that I was gonna end up in so many slumps but the books that I did read were pretty good to me so yeah let me show you guys what I read in June all right, so the first book I read in June was The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the second book in the Queen of the Tearling series, and it's so good. It was really good. It did take me, like, in the beginning. I couldn't really get into it. I think it was just my mood, but I read this with assistance from the audiobook from the library, and that really helped me get into it a lot more. Once I really got into it, I was invested, like, like, I really wanted to know what was going on, what was happening with the storylines and timelines and just all of these things. This book ended up being really good. It was solid, just like the first one. And I think it definitely went even more into the world in this book than, of course, in the first book. And I was really interesting in the world. I gave this book four stars. Yeah, I found it really compelling. I don't want to go too much into it because it is a second book in a series, but just some warning this book does have a lot of it has like a lot of violence a lot of like assault sexual assault to be specific and rape so steer clear if you can't read things like that but yeah it just dived into a whole new level of the world of these books and it was so freaking interesting to me once you really got into it and started to understand like what was going on it was so interesting to me i do recommend so far this series we'll see how the last book is for me but this one was very good oh yeah and the reason i didn't tab this book or annotate it at all is because i don't know i just kind of realized that this series isn't really something that i feel the need to annotate and stuff like that like some i'm starting to realize that sometimes i do feel like that like i don't feel like i have anything to say i'm just listening i'm just absorbing information and stuff like that and that's kind of how i feel about this series so that's why there's no tabs the next book i read was never night by jay kristoff i just I have a lot of feelings i have a lot of feelings i have a lot of feelings okay i don't even know what to say like this book was really good it definitely gave me the assassin story that i've been looking for you have the history there you have the family ties going on you have an assassin school slash church i guess <laughs> you have all the hardcore just everything like just this book was hardcore and I lived for it um I hate that I felt like my heart was played around with in this book like I started to develop feelings and all these kinds of things and just like I would have not expected the way certain things went down in this book and I just felt so hurt and like shocked and it's just hard to express my feelings for this book except that it was good, it was entertaining, it kept me really engaged. I will say that the beginning of this book is pretty hard to get into. For me, the reasons why it was hard to get into was, you know, a lot of people say in the beginning it's a little confusing. Yes, that was the case, but going into it knowing that, I was just paying more attention and kind of realized what was going on there. And then also, uh the reason why i found it a little hard to like get into is because the text in this book is like super tiny it's so tiny you guys like i don't know if y'all can tell but i'm i i can't see like i'm blind as a bat i wear glasses so it's very hard for me to read tiny text that was another thing and then the other thing made it hard to get into i felt like were the annotations or not annotations the footnotes the footnotes in the book made it a little difficult to get into because the footnotes felt distracting sometimes like sometimes i would read the information i was just like well i don't feel like i really needed that like i could have continued on with what i was reading just fine but 
some of them were funny some of them were really interesting it was just kind of a gamble with those for me i'm hoping in the next book there won't be as many of those because it really slowed down my reading and i feel like this story is so action-packed and so awesome that i hate that it kind of slowed it down because once i kind of like i started not reading every single annotation and all of those things or like i'd skim them and then i was like eh, i don't really need to read that or whatever and just keep reading like once I did that this book I flew through the rest of this book and yeah so overall I I want to say this book uh it's hard okay so I feel like this is a five star book I feel like this is a five star book but I feel like I need to dock a star for a little bit of how hard it was to get into maybe half a star like dock half a star but then again like <laughs> just the rest of the story made up for it so much like I don't know maybe it just is a five star I don't know we're gonna keep that on the fence it's a four and a half slash five star book it's really good I'm gonna give it like four four and a half though it's still really good though look at look at all these tabs I I I obviously loved it obviously all right so the last book that I completed it's not the last book I read but the last book I completed in June was Trevor Noah's Born a Crime I love this book and it was amazing and I don't know how to express that everyone should read this it was so freaking good it's so freaking funny so freaking sad all the feelings that you can feel you're gonna feel when reading this book I thought it was fantastic I thought the way Trevor Noah told his childhood stories and things like that was just so enamoring it really pulled you in and like gave you just so much insight not just on Trevor's life but the life of people in South Africa it just really broke it down like what it's like growing up in a place like this I just loved it like I really loved it and I also thought it was great how this felt like just in a way really dedicated to his mom and just him expressing his love for his mom and how he grew up regardless of what he had to deal with it was just excellent perfection wonderful amazing like I freaking loved it I wish I could have listened to the audiobook but I couldn't get my hands on it I read the physical book and it was still amazing I can't wait to listen to the audiobook at a later time because I bet that was just even more amazing but yeah I recommend this to anybody like anybody from any walk of life like it really just it's a great book it's not that long if you're not a big reader like it's not that long anyone can read this stop playing it's only 200 something pages like everyone ones should read this if you want a good laugh you're definitely gonna get it from this I cracked my side laughing at this book it was just so freaking funny and just so fantastic pick this up and as far as the rating I find it very hard to rate someone's actual life because it's their life and it's their truth and it's their story you know what I'm saying but as far as enjoyment factor this was definitely a five out of five star experience but I'd rather not rate like someone's life, you know? But yeah, that's the last book I read or completed in June. Thank you guys so much for watching my June wrap up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the love, all the comments. I am so grateful. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want more videos of mine. And I'll see you next time. Bye.